Speed Hat. Good morning to my YouTube subscribers and followers. I am here for road tripping. I shouldn't say we're. It's just me by myself. No Papa Bear today. Uh, I flew. I drove. Now I'm going to drive some more. Um, where I am now, just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's a little chilly. I expect that. It's Pittsburgh. It's a little cold. Uh, but where this started was in Nashville, then to Lexington, Kentucky. And let me show you what I have coming back with me. Oh, hey. How you doing? Good? Oh, yeah. So what we have here is a 1991 Cadillac Brome D-Elegance 5.7 liter car, triple white car. Actually, I call this quadruple white because it's got the, the white lower cladding on it. Uh, this car was dolled up by the selling dealer uh, who actually is still in business today. It's, uh, you see it right on the front plate there, Quantrell Cadillac. Uh, they are in Kentucky. Uh, so this car was an estate car from a 92-year-old woman who owned a horse farm. Um, and when she bought this car, she not only ordered the top trim, best engine, but she had them doll it out with the ENG or Vogue grill, gold ornamentation. Um, it has wire wheels, appliance wire wheels with Vogue caps, which we'll put the original caps back on. This car would have also come with Vogue tires. I have the order sheet, all the gold. I do not like the gold stripe. I think it's just too much gold. Um, but they did that. They like striped, I think, over the stripe because, well, actually there is no stripe under it. So I think they cleaned what would have been probably a blue stripe off and taped a gold stripe on. Um, I don't see any signs of paintwork, so I believe that's how it was. And you can see it here on the quarters, uh, the fender extensions, but it has the original selling deal on the back. She's a little rough around the edges and I don't even really mean rough, but she needs fillers couple little marks on the rear bumper uh, impact strip uh, one of the taillight emblems has fallen off and gone AWOL uh, but all in all the car is a really beautiful car uh, it's a little frosty it's got a beautiful vinyl top you can see all the stitching in the top the gold ornamentation is in really nice shape um, you know just a couple little nicks and nothing too too crazy it's got an aftermarket antenna that I don't like um, and I will be replacing or changing. Not sure how I feel about this setup, honestly. I mean, it looks good because it's in such nice shape, but I, I view those as like dog muzzles. Has the VIN etching. Uh, she was a preferred customer. Now, one of my <clears throat> favorite parts is obviously being a triple white. You have beautiful white leather interior driver's seat door panel you know she's a little dirty again grandma was using a lot of lotion on her skin at the time but makeup all over the steering wheel just like i like to see it uh, but view, very nice steering wheel indeed so you might ask how did this all come about why papa bear isn't here well, this is kind of like a off the cuff type of thing um a good friend of mine chris uh sent me the listing to this car um and i have to give it to chris because chris kind of does the same thing that i do um i look for these cars and other nice cadillacs um but he gave me the opportunity on this car it was closer to him than it was to me it was driving distance to him and um he said hey here it is this is all you so i set up airfare on sunday it's now today's wednesday i flew to nashville on Tuesday morning, I have a, an amazingly good friend in Nashville who I've sold the car to, I've sold cars for, um, I have, you know, a really amazing relationship with this guy uh, that I really just met from being me, I guess, I, I, you know, it's amazing some of the people that you meet doing this. Well, this fine fella uh, 
he picked me up in Nashville at the airport and he drove me four hours to Kentucky to get this car only for him to essentially turn back and drive back to Nashville now I didn't know if I was gonna be driving this car back or not so I got a round trip ticket he even invited me back to Nashville and said hey you can leave it in my driveway and ship it but when I saw the car I said I'm gonna drive that one right home so not many people out there that would do something like that pick me up at the airport drive me four hours you know basically lost his whole day uh i'm forever in debt to him um so this is a 5.7 liter car um uh, mileage right now is right around i think 38,000. um it's a 920 mile trip home i already did 420 miles last night one of the hesitations that i had in driving this car back was i didn't know how old the tires were and i asked the seller who was the nephew to the owner i said hey What's the age on the tires? He says, oh, they're only a year old. And granted, they have great tread. But if you look here <laughs> at the, uh, oh, where am I? Yeah, right there. That's the DOT date code. So these tires <laughs> are not a year old. Now that we're in 2023, these tires are over a decade old. So that was a little sketchy for me. But you know what? I'm taking my time. It's cold out, thankfully, I guess. Uh, but I had to get a few things and I was trying to uh, be proactive on this drive because I don't have Papa Bear with me. So let me show you some of the stuff that I had to buy off the cuff here. So I didn't really have a lot, but I bought, um, I went to a Harbor Freight. I bought some shop towels. Um, I also bought a lug wrench. Now, why did I buy a four-way lug wrench? Because the original lug wrench comes with the car. But since these are aftermarket wheels, most of the time, these original lug wrenches will not fit these lugs. So <laughs> in the event that I got a flat and I had to use this spare, I wanted to get a four-way lug wrench. Now I have probably 300 of these at my shop. Um, you know, I take them out of the trunks of cars because they're always in the trunks of everything. Why am I having a hard time here? <laughs> Whoa, there we go. So now I, I bought one and it was so painful for me to buy this since I could really make a collection of these and give them all away. I also bought these giant zip ties because you never know. I bought a knife, utility knife. I bought some hose clamps and I bought some coolant. I have some tools that I brought in there. Um, just small stuff, really. Uh, but I got air in the tire. Close that down. You can see she needs some fillers. Those are slowly falling off on the highway. As I started driving this thing home, this is when I got a little nervous. So you can see the upper radiator hose here and the upper radiator hose goes right into this uh, thermostat housing neck and you can see those splits there well it's just starting to weep a little bit of coolant out of those um i called around to any auto pot store i could in the area even here um this area and nobody has that upper hose in stock and it, it's kind of crazy because it's like well it's just a 350 chevy i mean you know why wouldn't they have a hose like that well car is 30 years old and I have a hard time remembering that and believing that so I bought those hose clamps and the knife in the event that um, that guy lets go then I can um, you know put a new hose clamp on it cut it hopefully you know flush and then put it a little further down I'm not sure if that's gonna work but I can't get a radiator hose you can see my custom Lina. It was coming down and it was bobbling on my head and it was driving me nuts. So I stopped at a Dollar Tree and I bought a little stapler, like a desk stapler. And bup, bup, bup. But this car is in absolutely beautiful condition. Uh, one of the things that doesn't work is the radio. Uh, so thankfully I brought my Bluetooth speaker, which I have hidden here strategically. Hang that. We'll turn that on. Uh, but real nice interior in this car. Beautiful white de-elegance dash pad shows real real nice um it's got the auto dimming mirror she did have an order form in here which i thought was a little cool 
can also probably hear it. A little bit of an exhaust leak just starting. Uh, so this was the order form, 91 Brome de Elegance. What's crazy is the date up here is 5698 for 91. Obviously that was a mistake, but uh, here's all the stuff that they added up on this thing. Uh, the Vogue wheels, the tires, the grill, gold package. But then they gave deep discounts. Apparently there was a family member who worked for GM at the time, Miss Mary Poole of Winchester, Kentucky. Uh, and that... Uh, family member was able to get her some type of discount um you know pricing discount so she was the one and only original owner uh warranty form oh, oh. <laughs> nice job anthony pre-delivery inspection we're gonna put that back in there which is probably where it was what do we have here i don't know what that is Vogue tire, maintenance schedule, <laughs> high maintenance tires, oil change slip, 91 Brome vehicle diagnostics. Oh, yeah. Minor stuff from our insurance company. The Oldsmobile Pocket Atlas, the Vogue tire protection plan. Uh, Cadillac's Protection Plus, and then GM's Easiest 123 Keyless Entry, which I don't have any remotes for, so that's probably, unless they're in there, which I can't really see, but anyways, uh, people are going to yell at me for doing that. Uh, let it warm up here before we hit the road. Uh, back seat is absolutely beautiful. They like said the headliner is coming down. I had to go and buy. Where's my stapler? This little stapler. <laughs> they had adhesive. He's like, oh, I was just gonna glue it up. I love when people say that because that was never gonna happen. You can actually feel all the chunks of foam that have fallen down. But yeah, that's my custom headliner job. So you might ask, well, why isn't Papa Bear with me? Um, well, Papa Bear, it was kind of a real short notice off the cuff thing. And originally I was going to, um, whew, I was going to fly and then bring the car back to Nashville and then ship it back and fly back. I did get a round trip ticket. In the event that I didn't buy the car, something horribly went wrong. Um, but I, I, you know what? It, I might as well just drive it back. Save myself the 800 bucks. I'm going to... You already paid for the ticket. But I was actually able to get that ticket refunded because uh, Delta apparently has some type of refund policy or cancellation policy. Anyways, so i got 522 more miles to go to bring this Tennessee sweetheart all the way back or uh, Kentucky car all the way back. We're going to hit the road. Hopefully uneventful, and we'll see if we can get back to specialty motor cars today. 522 miles left to go in this almost 1,000-mile road trip. So let's hit the road. So I'm going to stop frequently. Um, you know what that headliner looks like? That looks like a D. Elegance headliner. Matches the seats. <laughs> so... have a little leak start here on the uh, that upper hose so what I did was I took some big zip ties that I bought at uh, the Harbor Freight I don't see it coming out anymore you can see the crack right there there's a couple behind here it's building up a lot of pressure I think it's weak here uh, so I put a few zip ties around and I don't see any more coolant down there. So we're gonna go with that as being fixed. Uh, because I don't know where I, well, it took me off the highway to come to this gas station here in the middle of nowhere. I noticed that 
you know, those cracks now were seeping where before it really wasn't running out. So, um, I had bought those zip ties along with me because zip ties can fix everything. Um, and, uh, I put two of them around where it was really bloated, but I, I let pressure off by popping the cap off when it was hot. Um, made a little bit of a mess, but, uh, that let the swell down, put the zip ties on and f started it back up. I let it run while I put gas in it there. Um, and it looks fine. So I'm going to make our way back to the highway, but it's taking me a different way. I didn't think this gas station was that far off the highway, but approaching a railroad crossing or somewhere. This is kind of where like New York, Pennsylvania and New Jersey, I think kind of all come together. Well, we're doing ah, We're doing pretty good. It's crazy the amount of attention that these cars get on the road. You can see that Crown Vic in front of me. I just blasted by me and he almost snapped his neck. Uh, we got a rest stop coming up. I'm gonna pull over and take a look at my hose, or not my hose clamps, my zip ties. See how they're holding up. See how the hose kind of goes right over the alternator here and close the band. If I cut this and lower it down, it's going to be riding right on top of that, that band. Um, so I kind of wanted to just limp it. I kind of just wanted to limp it back without having to do that. And I figured if I could, I'd be all set. Look at that, huh? On top of the world, I guess. All right, let's get back on the road. We got 750 miles down. Uh, some left to go. 230 miles to go. Uh, about four hours, so I'll get home right about eight o'clock. Uh, Papa Bear's gonna pick me up at the shop, but I think we got this in the bag. Those, <laughs> those zip ties. I probably should have wrapped it in like um, duct tape and then put the zip ties, but I don't have tape, and I didn't even, I didn't even think of getting it uh, yesterday when I went to Harbor Freight. So uh, the zip ties are working. It's just, it's holding that pressure back from bursting, and honestly, it, that's really what. I think the, the biggest issue would be was it would just continue to expand and eventually burst. But with those zip ties holding it, I think we're good. Uh, so, all right, let's see what we can do. Elevation, 1,200 feet. We're way up here on the top of 84 East. 84 East of New York. Hello, Pulpit Rock Road. Uh, 984.8 miles. And she made it. Just got back. Papa Bear is here to meet me. To check out the new Caddy Whip. Oh, let's see how my rigging has worked out. Uh, looks like we're a little wet, but we're good still. Actually, no, that's just the shine. Yeah, 
No, that's just the shine. There's no drippage anywhere. Not a bad repair, huh, Pops? No. Just under a thousand miles. You can see those opera lights work nice too, huh? Burned out bulb up front. What do you think? Not bad, I like it. Be a good company car for you. Huh? Be a good company car for you. I got too many company cars now. <laughs> Five points. I like the gold with the white. Yeah. It looks like it got a gold stripe on it too. Yeah, we're gonna be taking that off. Why? That's nice. Ugly. It looks good. Ugly, oh. ugly, ugly. And there you have it folks, back here at Specialty Motor Cars. Got her inside, nice and warm, just under a thousand miles effortlessly, and those uh, <laughs> Harbor Freight straps did hold. I already ordered the new upper radiator hose just so I could swap that out so I could drive this car again uh, worry-free. But as I got here, I, want, I realized one kind of odd thing, and this is a very rare opportunity, I think, for any Cadillac guy. Now that I just picked up this white 1991 triple white 91 5.7 liter d elegance 39,000 mile brome with blue carpet blue dash wire wheels and a gold package i said to myself huh i already have one of those 1991 cadillac brome d elegance 5.7 liter triple white blue carpet blue dash wire wheels gold package and also 39,000 miles what's crazy is it's not only just these two, I have another one outside. If you all remember way back, like another, probably two years, two summers ago, I went to Tennessee with Papa Bay and we picked up another triple white, blue carpet, blue dash, brome. Kind of a project car, it's sitting outside. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I might cut that one loose, but anyways, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because all these cars are gonna be coming up for sale. But please, 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 do not call me and start bombarding me and asking questions. When's it going to be ready? When's it going to be ready? You know what I do. I go through my process here. I get these cars dialed in. I make them as nice as I can make them again. And that takes time. So when these cars are ready for sale, you'll see them here right on YouTube, right on this channel. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And, oh, before I let you go, I'll give you a little, little hint at what's coming up next. Another triple white Cadillac. 1991 and not these ones or the one outside stay tuned it's coming up we'll talk to you next week on it